Okay, so we have, um, we're recording some video now, and as you can see, uh, I am in my office, and I just wanted to, uh, this is a special technology uh, version of this, uh, so that you can see what a messy technologist I am uh, outside of my computer. I, I actually manage my files and my software and, and all that pretty well. I'm very, uh, very organized when it comes to work, of course. And I was wondering if anybody out there, if any of you technology guys, anybody who does technology, you know, has similar issues to, to me, right? That I can, you know, I can organize my work very well, but unfortunately, I also don't do so well in my office. So my office is a pit, and I'm going to clean it up this afternoon. I thought I'd let you, you know, in on a few of the things and see a few of the things. And here's one of the things I wanted to show you. Let me put my phone down for a minute. Is, riddle me this, Batman. If any of you have this, please comment below. Anybody got this, right? This big bag of, of, of connectors, some of which haven't been used in years, right? Um, so part of, my, part of my, my standard here is to try and get rid of as much of this crap as I can. Um, but if you're like me, and I suspect a lot of you are, um, there are a lot of things in there that at one point or another you've used for different technologies to set up different things, whether they're, you know, different kinds of hubs or different kinds of computers, whatever. And you just are like loath to get rid of them because you know full well that the first time you need one and you don't have it and you got to go out and buy it, it's going to just irk you to no end, right? So... What I'm trying to get at here is that you and I need to come to some conclusion about all the stuff we've got. And this kind of plays into my other video that I'm working on right now, which is retiring with minimalism. All right, so I'm looking for ways to retire. And one of the things that I need to do is I need to figure out how to get rid of all this crap and not feel like I'm... I'm, you know, getting rid of stuff that I need. So that big ball of wire, uh, I, I will tell you right now, my daughter, who has been in IT for mm, about 15 years, I, I, I showed it to her one time and said, honey, do you, do you have anything like this? She said, yeah, I got a big, I got a big plastic tote full of them and I can't seem to get rid of them. Right? So just so you know. So I'm going to be uh, kind of cleaning up in here and, and you can watch over my shoulder and, and see what I do and, and see if I'm doing anything, you know, worth a thing. I, you know, like say, if just so you know, um, I will I will pan around to let you see the very mess that I'm discussing. And in all honesty... This mess is probably less than many of you have and or many that you have known about, right? Um, and some of it is media. Some of it I will I will I will give you uh, that to tell you that some of this is in fact media. It's like pictures and stuff that I need to scan in that they can't really get rid of. So I've either got to get them scanned in and, and, you know, get rid of them. That again, that's, that's a, that's an internal thing with me, right? I've got pictures I need to scan in. And even when I scan them in, I'm concerned because I don't really want to throw the old pictures away. Again, comment if you've ever run into this, right? If you feel like this, like, You've got something and you're like, oh, I just can't get rid of this. I just don't, I, if I get rid of this, 
I know I'll want it. I'll know I'll miss it. I'll know I'll need it at some point. Um, I do the same thing on my NAS, right? So I, I have a NAS, and I keep every file I've ever had. Even though I may not have worked for somebody in 10 years, I've still got files from them. Right? Thinking that, you know, I've, I mean, I've got files from somebody I didn't, I worked for 20 years ago. And, you know, it begs the question, what are, what are you keeping those for? You're afraid you're going to, you know, somebody's going to come and, and ask you for something that you're not going to be able to supply, right? Um, so... I'm recording this on my phone with the Mevo app. Just want to make sure I wasn't didn't have like my head cut off or something. Um, but you know, it, it, again, I, I have lots of technology and things that here's here's one, and this was one that really irks me. Right? Uh, I spent a lot of money and a lot of time and effort uh, to to buy uh, home automation stuff. Right. And here we have home automation stuff that, oh, I don't know, may or may not even work with, you know, modern home automation. Uh, here we have Google uh, speakers that I don't use anymore. Um, you know, uh, lots of different things like that. You know, um, oh, a furniture adapter uh, to make sure that uh, something doesn't fall over on me. It doesn't do much good when it's when it's packed up like that, huh? Um, let's see what else we have in here. Oh yeah, we have yet more in the way of uh, motion detectors. I was big into motion detectors when I, I'm kind of kind of lost that whole theme of my automation thing. I'd rather do it with voice automation now. Ah, here was a useless little piece of piece of tech. Um, it was buttons for my automation, and you'll notice there's no labels on them. So I haven't, haven't the slightest clue what any of those do, right? So, yeah, well, you know, just thought I'd share with you before I go dumping all this stuff out. I would say if anybody wants it, just come get it. But, you know, there's not enough to go around, you know, for the two billion people on YouTube. So, I don't know. Um, even though it seems like there's enough to go around for two billion people. So let me start by, uh, oh, well, let me start by my, um, by getting rid of some stuff, right? So let me get rid of uh, a fan that I don't really need. When the AC was off, I, I brought a fan in and of course, uh, thank you. Uh, I, of course, now I don't need it. So yet again, here is the other problem with what I just did, right? And I want you to wanted to note want you to, to denote that, right? I have something in my office. I had a fan. I unhooked it. I said I'm going to get it out of my office. So I take it over and I put it in another room. Does that actually fix the problem, or does it just push the crap in another direction, right? I know there's going to be all kinds of clutter bug women who say, well, you can't do that. You just got to go ahead and get rid of all that stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. So, oh, oh, an old laptop that doesn't work. I think it has a broken screen. No, it does not have a broken screen. I don't know what's wrong with this one. It doesn't sound very good. It doesn't sound like it's well off. No. Um, this may be a giveaway. So I think we're gonna we're gonna I think we're gonna do a pile of giveaway stuff. And I'm I'm thinking that all of this all of this uh, home automation stuff is probably giveaway. Again, here's another switch. These actually work, but I'm not real fond of. I'm not real fond of them. Here's an AC adapter. Oh, by the way, do any of you technology field people feel like, well, why can't manufacturers like put the name and the model of the 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 thing that you got on your power supply? That makes no sense to me, right? 
All they have to do is put a little little tag on there that said, well, this came from a Habitat Hub, right? Okay. Why do you make me put a, 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 a label on it? And if I don't put a label on it, it gets put in a bag and I have no earthly idea where it came from. So, you know, these are the, these are the foibles of, of home automation and or, and it's probably from, it's probably from a, from a, some other, other switch or some network switch or something. Anyway, I'm probably going to keep the Google, the Google, uh, uh, micro, uh, the Google speakers because they're actually pretty, uh, useful when you start using Google again, which I may, I'm, I'm, I just did a video on Amazon is Amazon automation. Rue, uh, Rue Goldberg. I think the answer is yes, it is. And then of course, here's the other, here's the other, uh, piece that makes you want to just scream because now everything's all glommed together. And I'd a, a really almost rather throw it away or give it away than, than have to try and un detangle all this crap. So I don't know. Seems like it anyway. Well, hey, hallelujah, there's one that's 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 kind of loose. It's, you, know, you might be able to actually undo. Ah. Ha-ha, there's one. And, you know, uh, but I just, I just get this, uh, this irritation at, in general, at manufacturers, because either, either they don't, either they don't um, make your cords long enough, right, which I despise, or they do, you know, silly stuff like they don't, you know, make a, put any kind of a identification on their power supplies. Or in the case of Google Maps, um, had, a, had a, a pal tell me this weekend that, gee, uh, Google Maps, um, and, and I experienced it firsthand this weekend, uh, Google Maps, will not allow you to go the way you want to go. It wants you to go the way it wants to go. Right? And I don't know if anybody has out there has experienced that or not. But it would be so easy for Google Maps to just put a parameter in the software that says, hey, stay on the friggin' highway. Okay? Or just go the way I've mapped. If I, if I go to Google Maps and say, hey, this is the way that I want to go, why can't it go the way I want to go? Why does it have to go the way it wants to go? But hey, I don't own Google Maps. Um, I may do a video to tell Google, hey Google, and hey Google, if you're listening to this, please, please, please put some parameters in Google Maps that allow normal, average human beings to say, I do not want you to go off into the hinterlands and, and take me somewhere where I don't want to go, I just want to go on the highway. If I want to go from point A to point B on the highway, and I just want you to tell me how to get there on the highway, I don't need for you to take me off through residential neighborhoods and all that crap. I just want you to get me where I'm going. Maybe that's, maybe that's something that, maybe that's something Google never thought about. With all their millions and millions of, uh, of people, uh, that work for Google. Nobody ever thought about that. Hmm. So I, I thought I'd do a little short video just to show you what I was working on and, you know, wish me luck because I'm not getting a whole lot done, but I am trying to get something done. You know what this is? This is a, is a pointer for a tablet. Pointer for a tablet. I have a tablet. I don't use it very often. But I have a I have an Android tablet, one of I don't know seven or eight that I bought over time, and just don't ever use it. I mean, I just don't use it very much, um, probably because it doesn't work very well, and that's one of the reasons why you have to have a pointer to tap the crap out of it to make it do something. Anyway, I just thought I would I would 
share a little video with you and, you know, tell you what I'm up to. So, cheers. Have a good day. Please like, share, and subscribe, because that helps us out. Thanks.